Okay, so today we have the T-Mobile Cellfi. Now, this isn't just for T-Mobile. They have it for other brands. They, you know, you could get it for AT&T. I have, there's the Metro PCS version, which is exactly the same version as this, the Metro PCS version. Um, what it is, it's the RS2, okay? And it allows you to extend the range of your cell phone. So, like, for instance, if you're in your house and let's say you have a really bad signal in the basement. Now, this is actually kind of pricey. If you look them up online, they're almost like $300, between $250 and $300. But T-Mobile um, actually gave this to me for free. I'm not sure if the other providers will do the same thing. But the way they did it is they, you know, you tell them you have bad signal in your home. They look it up to see if you don't have any towers close to your house. And I was in between two towers and they said to me, hey, you know, um... You're in between two towers. You should have some signal. But I said, I, you know, I really don't and I need it for work. Um, and also, you know, the texting is very important to me, which is a key thing because, you know, they do have Wi-Fi call. So they said, you know what, we could send something out for you, which is the cell phone. And it'll allow you to have a longer range. And I said, of course, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. And I've heard about this. So I heard about it online. I tried it out. I called them up and I tried to get uh, the device and I have it here today. Now, what comes in the box and what is it really? Now, I was confused because it says that you're supposed to put it in a window and this and that. Well, here we can see that the device, this is the starter kit and there's two little devices, okay? There's one in Spanish in case habla espanol. And I'm gonna show you the devices itself and how it works. I'm gonna be setting it up in my home and giving you a, a live demonstration. It looks like there's nothing else underneath there, but you gotta take this out. And here are the two power supplies. Now already I'm sure you guys are wondering where am I gonna put this device? Because it's so huge. I mean, it is freaking huge for a device. Now let me pull these out of the pocket. Turn this up. All right, so here's the first device. I'll show you a comparison. Let me give you a home phone, right? It's pretty freaking big. All right. Inside here we have, let's rip this one up. And why you take a quick look at this device right there, you can see the size of it is a lot bigger than its little sibling brother right there. So let's put that in focus right there. And I'm gonna be opening up these to make sure that the power supplies may may or not may not be the same size. So I'm gonna open them up while you check those out. Now the the one thing I notice is I'm like, you're supposed to put this on a window. Where the heck am I gonna put this device on a window? Now, if I'm not wrong, I believe this is the device that goes on the window. Now, where's the suction cup? Like where am I going to, like, I mean, you literally have to have a ledge somewhere or a table to put it on. So, as far as, you know, usability, eh, you know, I guess you're going to have to make dues and find out how to stick it close to a window where you have good signal. Alright, so, this is the power supply for one of them. And I'm going to check to see if they're both the same size, same voltage. And if they are, well then you don't need to worry about which one is which. But, and then this huge thing is the box that you're supposed to have in the next area. So what you're supposed to do is crisscross it in your house. Put it in one corner like the back left and put the other device in the back, in the front right. So you crisscross your whole house allowing it to have the best signal possible. Now there's some indicators here that tell you whether your signal, how, how many bars you have and if the signal is good enough. Now you want to try to get as big as you can in your house, right? Obviously. So, and with that you're going to be able to share that same signal that you get. If you have four bars on this device, then you'll have four bars throughout the whole house. So these are the same. They're actually 1.5 amps and 12 volts. So either one or we'll go to the to each one of these. But one of the things that you do want to make sure of is that now you have to have power underneath your window, right? So where are you going to put it uh, close to a window? 
Like, you have to have, let me give you an example. Let's say I was putting one device here, because there's a, a window here, and I'm gonna put it up there, right? Now, say I put the device up there. It needs to have a ledge, it needs to be close to the window, and it needs a power supply, so the power is gonna be coming down here. So it's not a pretty device. It's not definitely something that is going to make your house look good or techy or whatever you want to call this. Just trying to find a place to put it. So as far as usability, it's really annoying. I think this could be reduced and uh, hopefully they come out with a new generation where it's reduced and it really boosts also signal strength because this device will only boost the signal that you already have. So no matter where you put it, if you have three bars there, it's gonna put three bars all around your house. It's not gonna actually grab three bars and convert them into full bars. So that's something we wanna get straight. But at least you'll have three steady bars all around the house. So if you've got three bars in the best place in your house, now in the basement you'll also get three bars and maybe you didn't get anything there. So that's one of the upsides to this device. All right, so I'm going to go through the process of installing it. I'm gonna leave the base down here in the basement so we could test it out. I'm gonna bring my phone so you could check out what the signal is because I have no signal as of right now. I usually do Wi-Fi calling. Okay, so here's my phone. And if you see, as far as the bars that I have, it looks like it was full, but it really doesn't have any, any bars right now. And those are empty bars. It gets actually wider when it's fully full. So there's no bars whatsoever, so I'm hooked up to Wi-Fi. I have Wi-Fi calling, but one of the things is that I only see that Republic Wireless, which is actually cheaper than T-Mobile, will actually give you the best Wi-Fi calling. Wi-Fi calling sometimes when I'm doing it with T-Mobile will get non-registered uh, errors, and I'll also get a lot of missed calls where people say they, they called me, but they didn't really actually get the call. I'm gonna come back and show you what the, the device looked like, whether I got better signal or not. Now, while trying to install this, I figured out that this is the one, this is the unit that stays in the basement and the other unit is the one that goes on the window so obviously could not be sucked on a window that fat unit. Um, and it's pretty, it's not actually heavy but it's just a thick unit and it would look ridiculous. So it's supposed to be on a little desk like this. So now this also is also, I'm putting it onto a base right here, alright, where I have all my, um, routers and disks and hard drives and backups on the shelf and I hopefully it doesn't mess around with my Wi-Fi signal or my phone signal I'm gonna test that out also and let you guys know now coming close to the device I noticed there is a I'm guessing it's to do firmware updates maybe there is a USB and there is also a, a reset button so I'm guessing if there's any issues or anything, you could hit that reset button and everything is resetted. Maybe if you do a bad firmware update, you could also restore it back. Kind of like a little router. Um, so this is kind of like a router, but for internet. So there is a little hole where you could stick your cable through, flip this around, and give you the, uh, the lights to make sure it's working. Now, the reason why I set this one up first is because when I go upstairs, I want to make sure I get a green light. That's one of the instructions that it says. So you want to get a green light upstairs and make sure you don't have a red light because if you have a red light, you're too far. Green light means you're still within the range to make sure it's working. Further inspecting the, the device, I noticed that there was a, uh, it's kind of like a SIM card. So you could put a SIM card in there. I have no clue what that's for. Uh, maybe, no, I have no clue. So, but it does accept a SIM card and that's where the battery does go through. Okay, this is the big device. I'm putting it, setting it up on a window right now. Now I just turned on the device. It seems to be blinking some lights. As you can see there, I guess it's getting all set up like a router, booting itself, and hopefully it works out. If not, we'll keep seeing what is the problem and what else we need to do to get this up and running. Once it's up and running, we'll see the results. Okay, so I restarted the system. As you can see, we have seven, right, indicating. So we should be pretty well connected. I looked at the device and it already has all four bars connected. The problem is that I don't see any LTE, so I don't think this works for LTE, but let's take a look at it again. I restarted the phone to take a look. And there it is. I have 4G 
It's not LTE. Um, I do get LTE outside, but at least I have 4G and I have all four bars. Okay, I'm not in the optimal place, obviously. Uh, I just did this as a test, but I will try it out. I will test it out in other areas and uh, of my house, try to get a better signal, and also give you a little bit more information about it. Okay, so please like and subscribe if you like this. If you have any other questions, please ask me. But it's as simple as plugging it in in, in one corner of the house and going all the way around to the other corner of the house and plugging it downstairs from all the way from the upstairs right corner uh, back right to the bottom left of your house and that's it so please like and subscribe